There we go. There we go. No. Oh, there's that thing is on fire now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hi, Krusty here, and welcome to the exciting world of Brick Rigs. Why is it exciting? I hear you asking through the other side of the screen. So this is a building game, not unlike Besiege, where you can create your own vehicles, drive them and fly them around, and then cause all kinds of havoc, and they smash and they go all everywhere and they go crazy, and it's... <laughs> looks like... looks like such a great time with such a huge amount of destruction. So this game very clearly uses Lego blocks. There's no two ways about it. I'm pretty damn sure it is in no way affiliated with Lego or the Lego brand, so I'm not sure how long this game is going to be around because lawyers are nasty things and they come out at certain hours of the day and then they ruin lives. But I'm gonna try and enjoy this game, at least while it lasts. It is in super early access, so it's missing a lot of features. I don't know how well it's gonna run. Maybe it'll crash. Maybe it won't run at all. Which would be kind of pointless me uploading this video if it doesn't run at all. So if you're seeing me say these things, it's probably because it works at least a little bit. So to start things off, we have two kind of locations where we can actually build things and drive around. We have the city and we have the desert. Oh, I guess I just... Well, I'm in the desert now. I didn't mean to click it, but I... We're going to start things in the desert. It was absolutely my choice to do so. Okay, so this is the first time I've actually played this. I probably should have gotten into this and messed around with it a little bit, because it may be a little bit complicated to play. I'm not really sure. There's a truck here. Can I get inside of it? Either, yes, I can. Driving is quite simple. That's great. I have a... Oh, look at my little faceless expression. Do you have an expression if you're faceless? I don't think you do. Okay, so I made sure to know a little bit about the game before I played it. I know you go over here and you can enter the editor mode. And then you can just... You can click on individual parts and then just... You, you can just do what you will with them and you can replace them with things. And it looks kind of confusing, the menu, it's not, it doesn't really seem that intuitive, because I'm looking at it right now, and... I mean, I guess it doesn't look too bad, but I'm a bit of a dummy, and I, I need glowing, flashing icons to tell me where to go sometimes. So if I click on Open File at the top left here, there is actually some things preloaded into the game. And there's something called the Sky Crane. So it's a helicopter that can pick up vehicles. It might be... it looks like a face. It looks like a fa Do you see a face? I see- I see a face. So I can click that, and then I can spawn it. But I- I guess... I gotta add a little bit of flair to things. I do want to get the basic gist of the game and understand what I'm doing. However, I- I, I want to... put my own little stamp on things first. This is a default vehicle already built into the game. It has no... No- 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 no crusty flair to it. It has no flair of the crusty. Let's just go ahead and change the color of one thing. That brick right there. That, that's going to be green now. Shake up the system. Don't accept what they give you. So now I go ahead and spawn that. All unsafe state changes will be... Okay, whatever. And here, here we have our thing. It's quite big. It's quite a big thing, isn't it? This is a sky crane, though, which means I should be able to... lift things. That truck is moving by itself. Whoa, hold on a second. There are graves back here. Is this just a little bit of decoration? It's interesting. I think it's just a little bit of decoration, but it's interesting. It has nothing to do with what I'm really doing. Truck, where are you going? Truck, where are you going? Truck, please stop. Truck? Oh god, it's gonna crash it. Oh. That's pretty cool though, it had sparks and things on it. Sparks are pretty cool. Oh dear. Well, I, I, I just, I, I broke, I broke a water tower and now the water tower is rolling down the hill. I didn't really mean for that to happen. Destruction just kind of, it, it, it tends to follow me wherever I go. It's a little bit of a problem. So what I originally wanted to do is I wanted to move this truck a little bit closer. To the, the, what am I doing? What did I just do? What? I can fire yellow balls and they break stuff can I blow up the truck with these I didn't blow I mean I guess I it, it just wow it's, it is bits and pieces now isn't it 
Where did that tire go? How, how do I, um, oh, oh, I broke it. Oh, I broke the thing. Okay, well, one, one of the little, little, um, little, uh, spinny spins fell off. But maybe it'll still work. Maybe I can, I can still work it. How do I rise up in the air? I just press up. That's pretty simple. You press up to go up. Oh boy. 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 That didn't... Oh boy. I mean, I like destruction. I wanted it, but I wanted a little bit of playtime flying the thing before... Oopsie daisy then. What the hell is going on? I can't see a thing. I just see fire. I'm alive now. Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> so it says objects deliver 0 out of 20 on the top left hand corner of the screen. And I forgot to actually mention there are missions plastered around the map. So you can actually do things in the game besides actually just building things. Which is pretty cool. Because as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this game is pretty bare bones. There's not a whole lot to it at the moment. It's extremely early in development. But you can still walk around and pick up various missions and things to do like that. I'm not going to do that, because I don't even know what I'm doing with the basic stuff right now, so complicating things... That, w that wouldn't help things at all. What I am going to do is I'm going to go to the city, the sandbox thing, because if it's a city, there might be more stuff. What is this then? Oh, are those... oh, those... Oh, so this is one of the missions. So you see these little missions walking around here like that, and the little, little orange circle, and you walk into them and you get a mission. Wonderful thing though that is. Um, th this, this, this is, this is something. <gasps> this calls for certain amounts of destruction. Okay, so I have like a grinder and a, a spinny thing, and I could, I could drive into them, and things go boom and fly out all over the place, which is good. I wanted the destruction. I like it quite a lot. So let's, let's go get a vehicle. Maybe, may, 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 maybe just like a, a little basic one here. So I can I can get the fire engine. Fire engine's kind of cool. It's orange instead of red. That 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 worries me. And now I, I'm just gonna go ahead and drive it up here, into this grinder thing of sorts. Go on then. <laughs> Look at the little guy. He's still in his seat. He's so dedicated. He loved that truck with all his little heart, and now it's all just. Uh, it's all just pieces. Look at this wonderful amounts of destruction. Look at these yellow balls of death I can fling out at any moment. Look at them bounce off that building. What is that building made off of? I would like to make my clothing out of that. Oh, that window was... That window was quite fragile. So that was great. I like that. Look at that destruction. Uh, it wasn't very easy to see. The camera just kind of blew that. But yeah, everything just... It breaks into individual parts and goes flying everywhere. What a wonderful thing that is. Now I'm actually going to try and make my own little vehicle, because absolutely why not? Absolutely why not? I need to make a base of some kind here. I have all these little categories here, and then you click into them, and then they have more options in them. Which is good. The more options, the better. However, the more options, the more confusing the game gets. It probably won't be that confusing. I'm not going to make something too complicated and confusing. I just want to make something that can actually work. If I can drive it, I will consider it a success. So I need to start off with a good base. Everything needs a good base. I feel like I'm talking about some kind of recipe in a chef program or something now. But this isn't a cooking channel. Unless it's cooking up... Fun. That was, that was so lame. That was so lame. How do I how do I move it down? Okay, I just scroll the mouse and it goes down. Is that like some kind of snapping thing? I can I can snap things next to each other, or do I actually have to snap them together? Like Lego, if you put them together, they're not actually together. You got to put a thing on top so they're actually together. Does that make sense? I said the word together quite a lot. I probably said it too much. Let's just put this on there like that. Then is that on there? It's underneath. I expected these things to happen, and that's so that's absolutely fine. I have no real complaints here. There we go. That looks like a decent base, doesn't it? Does that look like a decent base? Yes. Don't don't doubt me. I know exactly what I'm doing. So what do I do next? I guess I need to put wheels on. How do I how how do I uh, wheels? I mean wheels are here. Do I need to have something on them to actually make them work? Off-road wheels look good. They're all rugged and stuff. I like rugged wheels. They're the best of the wheels. Seems like I may need something on them. 
axles are things that I need. Let's put some axles down and then I could put some wheels on them. Or and I could duplicate things. Oh, that makes things a lot easier. Thank you very much, game. Thank you very much for being that considerate. Bang. Then I could duplicate the brick again. That's so much easier. So there are easier options in this game already to make it a bit easier. It's just... You gotta look for them. I mean, you don't have to look that hard. You just click on brick and then duplicate brick. It's not difficult at all. But shortcuts on the keyboard would be a wonderful thing. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudgy, nudge. Winky, wink. So now I've put the axles on there. Can I put the tires on there? The wheels? Is that a thing that I can do? Yes. Look at me, I worked something out which is really simple and didn't need much of an explanation, but I did it. Everybody knows if you have six wheels instead of four, your car goes up, like, 17 cool points. Right now I'm sitting at a pretty nifty 37 and a half cool points. That's quite a lot of cool points. It's more than 36, so that's it's pretty good. Now I need to build interesting things on it. I'll be honest, it looks like shit. But I want it to look better. I need to be positive. I need to put positivity into this vehicle, that's how it's gonna work. It's gonna be fueled on positivity. Also an insatiable bloodlust, but we'll talk about that at another time. So I need to put the seat down so my character actually has a place to sit. I don't want to put it just anywhere though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore that. There you go, I'm gonna hang actually make a a good place for him to sit. He's got, he's got to have a good, sexy place for him to sit. Not that it's going to be too sexy of a vehicle. It's just sexy in a good way, not in a sexy kind of a re revealing way where it might not make it onto some programs depending on the time of the day. This is just going to be a safe and smart sexy. Like, if somebody has a new phone and go, that phone is quite sexy. Because most people aren't sexually attracted to phones or electronic devices. But some people are, I guess. Everyone has their kinks. And their, their, their little obsessions. Some people might be attracted to a phone. Some people might be attracted to a phone box. That that's that's might be why they smell in there. That's I don't want to go into that conversation any more than I have to. I don't have to at all. I'm just going to stop talking about this. I'm going to continue talking about completely different things. I think. That looks pretty good on top of there. I think in a, in a way that absolutely looks cool and not at all strange. I like lights a lot. Let's let's put lights on there. Let's let's surround this guy with lights. He needs to be illuminated. People need to see him coming. It's going to be like the new age poke mobile. No, it won't. Why did I say that? You can make a flash sequence. That's pretty cool. So you can flash things at a certain uh, time interval, and you can probably make some kind of signals, like you can communicate with aliens and stuff like that. I'm not sure if that's a feature in this game. I'm probably probably thinking too much about it, but it's a cool little idea for the future. Allow us to communicate with uh, aliens, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so now put a few lights on there. It's not much. I don't want to get too crazy with this, because the controls of the game are kind of a little bit fiddly and a little bit annoying. I don't want to spend hours upon hours doing some stupid light design that probably doesn't even work. So I've got lights on there. I've listed them as warning lights because you can change the type of light because you apparently have a lot quite uh, quite a lot of options with the lighting and you can set time intervals so they flash at certain times and all that kind of stuff which is interesting if you're into that kind of thing maybe I'll be interested in that kind of thing in the future right now I'm not because I don't want to fry my brain too much not that this is overly complicated work I'm dealing with here but I just want a vehicle that works I just want a vehicle that works in order to get a vehicle that works, I need to put a motor down somewhere. So I don't know if it makes a difference what kind of motor I put on there, but let's just go with that one. I don't know if I have to add anything else to the thing to actually make it work. I'm hoping it's kind of simplistic. I like games that have simplicity so anyone can jump in to build something, but there's also the complexity underneath. I hope this game has that or will have it in the future, because sometimes I don't feel like building really complex, intricate things. I just want to build a thing that I can I can throw into a giant blade thing and it makes it go <laughs> That was a word. Guns? I can have guns on the vehicle? I'm absolutely having guns. Yes please. Yes please to the guns. Where do I put the guns? Oh boy. <laughs> Options. I'm gonna put a door on the thing, because how else is he gonna get in it? Unless I unless I have a door. There you go. He has a door. I can have barrels too. 
I can have barrels too, long barrels of a gun. Oh boy, this might be too much power. Well, I think I'm done. I have a seat up there uh, overlooking the action in case it, it gets wet and you drive through water. You don't want to get your feet wet, that's an inconvenience. It's, it's horribly uncomfortable too. I have six wheels instead of four because that ups the cool factor. We've talked about this, you know this. I have sirens, I have what hopefully amount to flashing lights. I have big guns with big cannons on the front and I have a door because that's how he gets in. Obviously, how else would he get in that vehicle? He needs a door. Hopefully this works, let's spawn it, and let's find out. It's dark now. God damn it. Okay, so it's dark and it's raining, but I'm pretty sure you can change the, the, the weather effects here you have. Yes, you can. It doesn't just happen like that, but you can. It, does, it doesn't work. I don't see my lights working. This is worrying to Krusty. Oh, the guns work, though. Oh, wow. Look at them. They just fire like that. They just fire like a gun would fire. How about that? I can't shoot a hole directly through the building, though. That's a little bit disappointing. That's a bit limited, but at least I can shoot guns, and at least I can cause destruction with them. That's something, isn't it? Okay, well, I can actually use warning lights, but the button to turn the warning lights on is the same button I used to start my recording of the videos, so every time I press it, the recording stops. That's a little, little bit inconvenient. But they do work. They don't know that great. They just, they, I mean, they're not that great, but they do work. So that's, that's something. You know what? Screw my own vehicle. That's just, that's just stress I do not need. Hey, look at this vehicle that I just made. Doesn't it look wonderful and not at all anything like the one I spawned which is already built into the game earlier on. I actually, I built this one myself. Wow. Well done, Krusty. You champion. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna destroy this thing because I, I crave for destruction. And I'm gonna see what happens here. That's- oh wow, that's- 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 he's still sat in the seat. He, he hasn't given up hope. Hope for what? I don't know. There is no hope. Get out of the seat, you idiot. Oh, look at this little thing. Isn't this thing great? Oh, let's take this on an adventure. So we can actually drive around the streets and stuff. We... Some people can drive around the streets. Me, however, I cannot. So we can actually press escape and we can repair the vehicle, which is handy. It means I don't have to bloody go back to the garage and do it again. Which is, which is good. So I, I feel like I'm going to be repairing the vehicle quite a lot, so... It's handy that that option is there. Is that a ramp in the distance? Or just a little hill thing going up? I am not sure, but I absolutely have to find out. Oh god, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, it's still going. Well, it's a little bit broken, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. How did that wheel get all the way out here? I don't know. Oh, cr crud, crudsicles, crudding. Yep, yeah, no, it's definitely not running. So it's definitely not a ramp, but it, it is, it is a... I flipped the vehicle again. Let's get up on here. Let's drive on the big boy road. That sounds we Oh no. Oh, do I didn't expect, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. <laughs> I love that he's still in the chair. He's so dedicated to that chair. And now he's face down, like an ostrich or something, with his head in the ground like that. It's depressing, really. He, he deserves, he deserves a good time. Oh, I seem to be a little bit stuck and I can't get past this. That's, 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 that's quite disappointing. Okay, so I'm back on the desert map now because I was suddenly overcome with an overwhelming desire to drive around on a desert. That's the only explanation here. Also, I got stuck on some train tracks and I found it easier just to go to a completely different place. Let's have a go at the Sky Crane again. Let's do that. And I can see the hook now. I can see the hook now. Can I get out? Okay, so you can you can grab the hook yourself. Can I grab the hook, please? Or blow up the sky crane. I forgot I have that ability. Oh no. Oh, I just crashed the game. Oh no. Guess the only thing left to do now is try and fly it again. I don't know how well that's gonna go. But I I I have the Let's try it again. 
There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. No, no. There you go. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it. No, don't go into that thing. He went into that thing, didn't he? He went into that thing. There we go. There we go. No. Oh, there's that thing is on fire now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, that thing is on fire. That's that's very very bad, isn't it? Fire is usually quite bad. Okay, time to run away from the fire then and get another one of those little sky crane things and try not to crash it and break it and stuff. Damn it, I want to use the sky hook and I want to hook that little fire engine thing there and I want to try and fly around with it. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm gonna do. It would certainly help if this thing didn't keep rolling away when I wasn't... wasn't... Stop rolling away, please. And now I can actually possibly use this with... It's going through the map. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I can... Can I pick this up now? How do I pick it up? I don't know how I use this hook. It's telling me I press E to engage it, but I'm not... Oh, I just shot the... Oh, look at that. I can extend it myself. Look at that. Does that look a little bit sexually suggestive? Maybe. Should I stop doing that? Especially after I just said that sentence? Yes. I can light things on fire! I just started my own fire! It's, it's, I just crashed the game again. Okay, so I don't know how to get grab hold of the, the hook thing because it just doesn't work. So instead, I'm just going to try actually flying this again. There you go. There you go. This is a success. We're not dead yet. This is good. This is good. I am... I am only slightly concerned. This is absolutely fine. This is... this... this doesn't feel weird at all driving this. The controls don't make me feel nervous. Absolutely not. I got the hang of it. I can fly it now. Camera's a little bit strange. Throws me off a little bit. Um... Um, um, no, no, oh. There are complications in the flying process. I think it best that I abandon this venture for now. Doesn't seem to be going very well. I got in the sky for a little bit of time though, so... That's, 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 let's take that as a victory, shall we? Well done. I'm a fan of the concept of this game though, I hope this goes somewhere. It's got that thing called Potential. It definitely has that Potential thing. It also looks like Lego. So it also has a potential for a lawsuit. I hope, I hope, God, I hope they don't get sued. They might get sued. People really like suing each other. <laughs> People love money. People love money. You should absolutely leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of this game. Do you like it? Do you see potential in it? Do you hate it just a little bit? Either way, I'd be interested to know your opinion. Also leave one of those like things, because I like them and they help out the channel quite a lot. Thank you very much for watching. I'm doing a thumbs up now. Thank you very much for watching. I, I am very grateful that you watched this video. Maybe you skipped to the end just to see this closing message. I'm not sure. You might be stranger like that. That might be a thing you've done. I hope you haven't done that. You should absolutely watch the entire video. It's, it's surely filled of gold and quality content. So until next time, goodbye.